it is January the 15th, 2015, and I want to uh, hopefully show you quickly how to uh, determine the uh, internal resistance of meters, meter movements like this. There's one, that's a one milliamp, but we don't know how many ohms per volt it is. Here's a hundred microamp. We'll do a one uh, milliamp back here in just a second. But first of all, you got, you need to know this about your meters. First of all, this is the uh, venerable old triplet 630, marvelous meter. It uses a one and a half volt battery for the low ohm scale and a 30 volt battery for the R times 100K scale. And let me show you something. <clears throat> you don't, you don't want to use this kind of a meter to and directly connect it across your meter. It's not a good idea and I'll show you why. If we put our voltmeter something really high impedance and we put this thing on say R times 1 remember we have a one and a half volt battery in here look at the open circuit voltage that we will have when we connect uh, something when we connect our meter when we connect this as a voltmeter across this as a resistance meter look at our voltage see we have a volt and a half open circuit voltage right here coming out of this meter it's going to apply a volt and a half across your uh, across your test device if we go down here to R times 100k or even R times 10k it places that 30 volt battery across your across your resistor that you're trying to measure and certainly again here in R times 100k 30 volts you don't want to do that you don't want to place a volt and a half or 30 volts across this. Now it's going to be at a high resistance and it's not going to be much current but it's still going to take your meter and slam it really hard <clears throat> and in the case of some of the really sensitive meters you may damage it. So I hope this makes sense. Now if we do it the other way around let's put uh, this guy right here in ohms and then put this guy right here in volts 0.6 volts full scale and do exactly the same thing connect them to exactly the same point look what we have now whoops see on the 600 millivolt scale we have uh, there's a hundred it's about 70 millivolts the other way around the voltage that this guy puts across your load hope this is making sense this guy's just going to put 60 millivolts across your load or even maybe a little bit more because this is loading it down slightly but not much this is going to put a volt and a half or 30 volts across it so you want to use this one you want to use the digital meter if you're going to connect it directly across your meter you can just simply connect this across your meter if it's like a one milliamp and it'll give you a pretty accurate reading I happen to know and will prove this is a one milliamp it has it right there FS equals one milliamp DC full scale equals one milliamp DC and if we put our ohm meter across it doesn't really matter how let's see what our resistance is has to think about it a little while doesn't it that's 50 ohms and it's reading about half scale see it, it doesn't hurt the meter it didn't slam it it's not a 46.6 .6 ohm meter it's a 50 ohm meter and for reasons I cannot explain if it drives it full scale it seems to be read it more accurately and, and I don't know why that is but this is a, a uh, 50 ohm meter one milliamp and you can figure the rest from there we'll do that in a minute but so you can read this one directly okay now this one a hundred microamp let's put it across there and watch what happens thinks about it a while reads about half scale and reads it as uh, what 1.8 K 1800 ohms can't make up its mind can it well this is a 2500 ohm meter and, and so you, you get a you get a bogus reading 
even on you know high dollar equipment you you just can't quite figure it out it keeps trying though I'm not going to put it on this one because this one will just slam the hell out of this meter and actually it may damage it this guy keeps turning on and off he just can't quite figure it out so it doesn't work there it doesn't work on these little sensitive meters I'll show you how to determine it that works on all meters every time let me get it set up okay now I've got the uh, meter set up <clears throat> hope the lighting is good I've got the meter set up so that this meter is just simply connected across this meter black lead red lead and then I've got these four little AA batteries in series for six volts or thereabouts and this six volts is in series with this pot which is in series with this meter so we're just going to simply dial in we don't care how much resistance there is this happens to be a 10k pot right here we're just going to dial this thing in until we get a full scale reading right there right right there it's stamped right there FS equals 1 MA full scale equals 1 milliamp and right there it's reading full scale and right there is the voltage that it takes to make it read full scale that's 50 millivolt it's not 46.8 so that makes it a 50 millivolt meter if it if it's 1 milliamp and it takes 50 millivolts then R equals E over I E which would be um, 50 millivolts which would be 0 0.05 over I which is 0 0.001 it's a 50 ohm okay now if you want to know what's ohms per volt it takes 50 millivolts uh, to drive it uh, oh, let me see let, let me let me not make this too complicated uh, it takes it it's ohms per volt yeah I'm gonna I'm screwing this up okay back to the calculation it's pretty hard sometimes making these videos to not have every once in a while a duh moment <laughs> you just have to stop and get your wits about you again okay anyway we know that it's one milliamp we know it's 50 millivolts so we know it's 50 ohms well if it's 50 millivolts if we want to convert this to a ohms per volt we have to convert to 50 millivolts it would be 0 0.05 we take the reciprocal of that we get 20 times so we got to multiply its voltage by 20 times to get that same ratio and uh, uh, its resistance rather so we'd multiply that times 50 and we get a thousand it's a thousand ohms per volt now if you know it's 50 millivolts and it's one milliamp you know everything you know it's it's a it's a 50 millivolt it's a 50 ohm it's a 1 milliamp you know everything you don't have to know it's ohms per volt but sometimes that's the way you see them advertised or sold so uh, you, you, you need to be able to convert that so that uh, you, you just ratio everything up to the volt level and do the same ratio for the resistance as you would for the voltage and then you have its own per volt and that's the way a lot of times they're advertised so that's that's one meter let's hook up another meter let's hook up this one you remember we just measured it and it certainly didn't measure right so without even stopping the camera I believe I can take take it off and put this guy on probably gonna peg the meter but I'm gonna have to change the um, bang yeah see really really kind of hard there not really nice to the meter that was a uh, that was a 10k I'm putting a 250k in now just I'm just changing the pot so we have a uh, a completely different range and that's all there is to it oh there we go that's a lot better huh I think you can see that all right I want to move it and make everything fly apart okay let's crank this guy up till it reads full scale or you know as close as we can get full scale right there and look at that in millivolt that's a quarter of a volt that's 250 millivolts so it takes 250 millivolts to drive this one 
if it's 250 millivolts and then we start the R the I thing all over again uh, the resistance of this meter R equals E which is uh, 0.25 E over I which is uh, 100 E6 change signs divide 2500 ohms so that's a 2500 ohm meter 100 milliamp 2500 ohms takes a quarter of a volt to make it read full scale so if it's a quarter of a volt at 2500 ohms to convert it to ohms per volt you would multiply the quarter of a volt times four and you'd have to multiply this times four so it'd be a 10,000 ohms per volt this works this always works and as you saw just connecting the meter across it it'll work on the one milliamps and it'll work on some but but it won't work on these really sensitive meters and uh, we might have an even slightly different challenge if we put a uh, 20 microamp in here I don't think we would but um, that's the way you that's the way you test these meters and if you test them this way you won't hurt them as long as you don't as long as you got your potentiometer you know high enough value so you don't slam it really hard you certainly don't want to put these batteries directly across it or you may you may smoke it so be careful hope this helps and lastly I did <clears throat> for those that have uh, seen the video I made on uh, this four tube uh, bias probe as we like to call them I did have to mount the meter in there it just it just seemed like it was destined to be there and uh, it's turned out to be a real beauty this is this is one of my uh, better pieces of test equipment but there it is there's the meter mounted in it looks pretty good huh I like it <laughs>